Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. <laughs> I like how we're like, oh, we, f- we got to shoot a video. Tonight, we talk about some Lux Cigar. What are you doing there? Why don't you, yours is so dirty. Mine looks like a polished king. Hey, bud. <laughs> Dude, if you wouldn't... No one hears what you're saying. If you wouldn't have said anything, how long do you think I would have went in this video without it? I can't At shoot least this video 20 minutes. again. <laughs> if this looks like it's painful... Because it is. It's because we shot this whole video. We smoked cigars. We, we did the... We had a good time. We did the plan. We executed the plan to perfection and I went to edit it on like Tuesday Monday whatever I'm gonna find out not in focus the whole time 50 minutes of the whole time so um so we're gonna do this video is sponsored by luxury cigar club this is the luxury cigar club June box um if you sign up by the last day of June you'll get July's box. probably about when this video is coming out Dan no this video is gonna come out Saturday every Month has been ridiculous. So let's let's Every we'll month. talk about Luxury Cigar Club throughout the video. That is not a small gal. This, you know. So w- let's talk about what we're gonna do in this video. We're each gonna pick a couple whiskeys. We're gonna try and pair them. Yeah. See which one we like the most for the pairing sake of the the, the, the cigar. So you gotta read about mine <clears throat> because they come with these nice, Fantastic awesome cards. little in, info cards that uh, let you know. This okay. is the Mr. White Gold Edition pre-release. Um, and I'll tell you what, it is as big. If you if you took a snap and put it on Tinder, okay. it'd come flocking. You just got cut off. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I'm I am gonna smoke that Davidoff Yamasa Toro wrapper, Dominican binder, Dominican filler, Nicaraguan. <clears throat> this wrap, dude. Look at the wrapper. Like it looks like she's been around a block. She's old. That's what she looks like. She's old and veiny. You know what I mean? That's fair. That there. These ashtrays are up for sale on the website right now. Right. I'm gonna smack you in the face with this thing. This thing is great. That's so close. <laughs> um, these are up for sale on the site. Go check them out if you would like one. They're only gonna be up for probably a more a, like today or tomorrow. Probably take them down Sunday or Monday. Can so you hear that? yeah, I can definitely <laughs> feel that. It's not cold. Let's I'm gonna pick my first Ooh. whiskey. To pair with this cigar. This is Ooh. profile is full on this bad boy. Uh, Rappers USA, binder and filler, both Ecuadorian. It doesn't have to be. You can do whatever you want. It's up to you. People, you constantly pick shit people can't find. That's a normal thing for you. Perfect. Um, all right. You're starting <laughs> with that one? Yep. Well, you're not going to find a better one. So, my first one. That actually might overrun that. That'll be interesting. some Yosef Magnus Cigar Blend. Oh, my gosh. That cigar's wild. That was, like, the first draw I've had since it's, like, been lit for a been minute. toasted a little, a little yeah. bit. That thing is interesting. Okay. So, um, Luxury Cigar Club is proud to offer this pre-release to our entire membership base, considering only 200 numbered boxes of this cigar will ever be created. That's very interesting. There you go. Ooh. Another good reason That's to earthy. Like, real earthy. I'm actually going to go with the Fern Creek, which is uh, among one of my favorite labels in whiskey right now. It's, like, got that old throwback feel to it. I absolutely mm. love the label. Um, now, one of the things that we believe, I think this is five-year-old Heaven Hill. Yep. It's a Something little, like little tiny bit of youth in there. Yep. Listen, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Cigars remove a little grain, a little youth from good whiskeys. So Yeah, I don't think this is uh, the perfect pairing. That will run that thing over. Am I, I think right? That's too strong, yeah. Let's move this back a little. Right there. This is very light, <clears throat> delicate. That earthiness just gets taken to pound town. Davidoffs usually aren't wild. By how strong that is. Okay. So. I just wanted to drink it. Okay. Dude, I'm telling you. This is why Peerless, so Peerless Bourbon, well, the Barrel Proof Bourbon, is among one of the my favorite whiskeys to pair with cigars, right? Um, I think that these, fern, this is a single barrel, yeah. mind you, but I think that the Fern Creek could be another one of those. Um, I think these are like 80 bucks. Uh, this one's 56% volume, but yeah, needless to say, dude. Not optimal. Anyways. Um, Sean's not good at this. Let's, let's talk a little bit more about the box this month. We got the Dissident. <clears throat> Block press, block, box press. Then we got the Davidoff, to which I'm smoking. And then the El Septimo Giglamesh Aqua Anu. That Giglamesh was the one I smoked the first time we shot this video. Awesome label. 
fantastic cigar. Dan has the Sinestro Mr. White Gold Edition pre-release. I, the first time, had the Protocol Cigar Sir Robert Peel Maduro. I enjoyed the shit out of that thing. Yep. Um, and I had it with ECBP B520, and it was beautiful. That thing was, um, because I had it that night, later that night. I think I had it at, when we went to Klein's. Ugh. That was like a little, that was earthy. Yeah, I liked it. And, and it was nice. It wasn't, there wasn't a bunch, there were no spiky. No. Not, not a lot a good, of harshness. Good cigar. I, I enjoyed the shit out of that. That for me, so that is 12 bucks for the stick. Yeah. That's a little bit above like a daily smoker, but it feels good when you it have good. like, so this is what this box is all about. <laughs> you can go through and like in that case, find something that you like enough to buy more of mm -hmm. and enjoy. But if I walked into a place and I saw that these were 12 bucks a stick, I don't know anything about this. I've never seen that right. label. Yeah, we haven't either. I'm not gonna rip $12 into something I don't know, but this is doing it for me. Yep. And then I get good cigars every month. Also, um, we, we forgot, I forgot to talk about this at the beginning of the video. There's gonna be a giveaway of three gift cards this month. We did two last month, right? With Luxury Cigar Club. Mm. Two, last month was two $25 gift, yep. gift card giveaways. This month is three $25 gift card giveaways to Along their shop, LuxuryCigarClub.com. Some free shipping on your first box. Yeah, well, that's with a code. You don't even need a giveaway. You don't have to win that. You're here. Be junky. Be a junkie. Code on the screen. Uh, link for the There's giveaway no down below. Be go sign up. Do that. Um, this Game Fern will, Creek uh, is fantastic. Also tell you, just go for the Viva La Vitas. The Lance Arrows. And be happy. Or the Stolen Thrones. The Maduros. Oh, or the, the, the AJ. I think those are gone. The Caldwells are gone, mm, I think. Those were or amazing. that Maduro from this month. Yeah, what was that the, What's one? the name of it? Uh, Sir Robert Peel. Or, dude, those Gilgameshes. So there's a Gilgamesh. It's not this one. Got mine. I believe he has a Gilgamesh on the site right now that's a Maduro wrapper as well. Ooh, this cigar Watch is this. like a little spicy, a little peppery. The smoke's a little warm. I wouldn't say it's super creamy. Um, this is creamy. Herb. That is that is a creamy jam right there. Mm -hmm. Davidoff is creamy, earthy. Like the tiniest hint of like peanut dust. It's it's not like you know what I'm talking it's about. It's the bottom like it, of a planter's jar. It's a yeah, it's a whisper of ground up peanut. Also the the silent scream of some spice. Silent faint. Faint screaming in a dungeon. Um It's mostly Richard. I this pairing for me, the Fern Creek brings out a nuttiness in this cigar, which is interesting because I don't get it at all if I take a few puffs and don't drink anything. The cigar wipes out. The proof is actually great for the cigar. I really like the, the proof, the horsepower pairing is Sir Jeremy Sears, a.k.a. Father Time, a.k.a. Old Man Winter himself. Isn't that what you called him last night? Something like that. We streamed. I think you called him Old Man Winter or somebody else. Old did. Man something. I like man. that, though. <laughs> but One old man to another. <laughs> I have more gray hair than he does. He's twice my age. Anyways. Got nine times the beard both of us do. If I shave my head and put it on my face, his beard would be longer. Yeah. Still, that, that is figure true. that out. This Fern Creek pairing, I like the proof. We um, both. It gets, it actually gets rid of the youth in this, which is one of the. This is like the youth was one of the the grainy, the corn sweetness. It's one of the only things we said we didn't love about the Fern Creek. You know what just happened? I put that up to my my mouth, and I shook a little bit, thinking about that cocktail again. My mouth, my my, my hand was like, no. If you haven't watched the Thursday video again, check it out. I make a hell of an old fashioned, let's put it that way. All right, I was wildly wrong on that. Way too much horsepower. We need to gear down on this. Um, let's think about it. Could have told you. Think about it. I have a quick perfect. Quick break. Nope, we're not quick breaking. Quick break. I have a perfect pairing for you. Yeah. But you're not gonna trust me. Uh, 1792 bottle and bond store pick. No, I was actually thinking 1897 bottle and bond. Do a blind. I'll pour them, you figure out which is better. Okay. Whoever wins gets the whole hut of whiskey. You just take it home if you win. I'm not <laughs> helping you load any of it up, but you can just take all of it. I can Dude. pick out 1897 to win the hut. You Deal. imagine next next Monday, there's just no bottles in here. There's one bottle on the table and we're just moving on. We pretend like nothing happened. Since I'm puffing on that $20 stick, gotta go with that whiskey no one can find. It's dusty as hell in here if you're wondering. Hey, not like shooting this video three times. <sighs> Welcome back. We're the Bourbon <laughs> This is so, a video that isn't supposed to happen. This, you might notice a new jump cut bottle on there. Nope. I'm holding it. So, Sean pulled down Rock Hill. Yep. Pulled out Rock Hill. 
and then our sound board died. I'm gonna do Pipe Dream, he's doing Rock Hill. Okay, so I think Rock Hill was the perfect grab. I wanted 100 proof, I wanted something a little lighter, brighter up front, not so heavy on the finish, because I think it was gonna complement the cigar very well. Because this cigar just ramps on up. It's all finished, you get that earth. It's getting spicier, uh, like almost baking spice in there now. Oh, oddly enough, like it's very I'm bourbon-esque in my mind. Like you get that that like rich baking spice. Sure. <clears throat> so I wanted something that would uh, kind of pair off that. Um, another Redwood product on the channel, obviously, but Shocker. this I I'm believe surprised you didn't grab Old Forster. <laughs> just one of them is going to show up with all of them. Just six bundled in my arms. So this whiskey has a little bit of youth to it, a little corn sweetness that I'm hoping the cigar will level out. But it's you a know lower what I'm proof. Also very sad didn't make the video. What? <clears throat> I'm gonna just have to bring up again. The fact that if you look at this nice pipe dream and then you see it's red and then you go to oh, the yeah. top and it's green. You wanna explain why, Dan? Redwood ran out of red stickers for their cork. I don't think that was it. I might have broke it. The cork. When you bottle flip, there are casualties. Sometimes you break Redwood, sometimes you break Owl, sometimes you break Elmer Hundred, sometimes you break Holy Watt shit. Bees, sometimes you break you Old Foresters. so many extensive caps. Never cheap one. This is the cheapest one ever. Wow, I am just realizing that. So, um, so, while we didn't have audio, Dan said, hey, you should try something. Yeah. I have a very good idea what I think would go well with that. Dan, what was it? In this glass right here? Very red, weird. Oh, a little Dolmar cigar brand. That's me. This car's getting Maybe. barbecue -y. Barbecue. -y. I like it. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's the Dolmar. Dol wow, I can't fucking talk right now. I gotcha. I, that's the Dolmar Cigar Malt Reserve. The the Dolmar? It's like toasted marshmallows. It's so sweet. So, I, that didn't actually make it, and I forgot. The Redwood, what this cigar does with the Redwood is the cigars are getting a little peppery, nice spice, nice, like... It, the earthiness, I would say, is more like a woodiness um, on the cigar, but it takes this pipe dream from Redwood, and it makes it like a s'more. You get the campfire smoke. You get a little sweetness, like the graham cracker note to it. It's fantastic. Now, I am also really interested in trying this cigar malt reserve. Um, like I said, we got this basically yesterday in real time, mm. a few days ago by video mm. time. Not a good mm. pairing. Is it too no, sweet? No, no. It is. It's very good. Mm. But I think the the Rock Hill is just better. Really? Oh yeah. My. Why does it smell like that? It Amazing. is so good. Yeah. It smells like brownie batter to me right now. I get with this straight situation. toasted marshmallow, man. Oh, my gosh. In loveliness. Like, that's one of the best smelling scotches I think I've ever smelled I know people are going to complain because Dalmar colors their whiskey. Okay. Listen, and this is going to be an unpopular opinion. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, I'm blind. It's so good. Yep. Can't see anymore. This is a, this is the best pairing so far. This crushes the Fern Creek and it crushes the Pipe Dream. Mm. But yeah. here's the difference. I'm also this very is this is that. super peppery though. Yeah. This is a much spicier cigar than that Davidoff is. Okay, so I get it. Not everyone get Rock Hill. I'm pretty sure you can grab any Mashable too, and it's gonna pair. I would, like a dream. Mm, I'd believe that. with that Davidoff. Elmer, Hancock, Blanton's. You yeah. know, those are also easy to find. So. Knocks the whiskey dog. Oh, you're not the cigar dog, so we just let ah, it clear out a little bit. Knocks the whiskey dog's back. Back in action. Yeah. He loves me the most. Oh, my God. This is a fact. Oh. He's ha oh. You handsome man. He took man. my thumb. Bite him. He and literally is just off. gnawing. Look how big these balls are. You smell are. like he's gonna, I hope he's 200 pounds when he's full no. size, dude. I hope I can ride him into battle. He's starting to look very much like his father. That jerk. I cannot right wait there. to ride that dog into battle someday with an axe. Okay. A machete. We were sitting here talking, and I was like, you know what? I want to try some cold brew with this. So I've got La Colombe coffee. We just cold got brew. these. We, yeah, we just Just did. trying out different canned cold brew nitro stuff. Because we got a fridge back here now for mm -hmm. nice cold drinks. So this is non-nitro, just cold brew coffee. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm not a really big fan of this cigar. I don't know if I'd pay $20 for it. I was like, maybe we're not making the, the best pairing with this. And I said, I bet you... Cold brew is going to be killer with that cigar. So, what I wanted to say was it's interesting because when you think expensive whiskey, mm -hmm. let's. So, 
if a Davidoff is twenty dollars, would you equate that to maybe a hundred to one hundred and fifty dollar bottle of whiskey? Yeah, easily. Okay, price wise, like a twenty dollar cigar is probably around a hundred and fifty dollar bottle of whiskey, whereas a thirty dollar cigar might be a two hundred dollar bottle of whiskey. Okay, a ten dollar cigar might be a sixty dollar bottle of whiskey, something yeah. like that. Yeah, right yeah. in my head, I'm just making that shit up. But that's no, no, how it works I, I for would, me. I would let that track to be like, um, so the the Robert Peels in this month's box. Right, uh, they're like twelve bucks or something like that. Right. Stick. I think that's or a four for nineteen. I put it, paired it with a sixty dollar bottle, right? And I thought it was perfect. There's no better. When you reach for a retail one hundred and fifty dollar bottle, what you want out of that bottle is a ton of flavor. Mm -hmm. You want it not to be offensive, but you want it to be full, right? You don't want smooth, right? We don't like. We don't want a low proofer at one hundred fifty bucks, right? You want an experience, yep, right? It's interesting because when Jeremy and I were talking about cigar, expensive cigars, mm -hmm. like high-end cigars, it's not the same. Yeah. Name a twenty to thirty dollars cigar, which you're going to get like a barrel-proof whiskey. No, it, I. It's the that, opposite. Okay, man. so that's what I was just thinking. The more expensive a cigar, like the the creamier, the smoother, gen, the more gentle, gentle they get. Yeah. What we drank one of these before we smoked anything. Yeah. And it was pretty good. Yeah. With that cigar, that is pure chocolate. Yeah. Holy Delicious. shit, it's, it's cocoa good. nibs. Oh, oh, it's amazing. Through and through. People are going to be really upset about this. You will too. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Well, listen, I think... Are you about to... No. This cough, this cigar is so damn... Oh, there's... Nah, I'll drink it. A little shit in there. Ash. What is it? That you should wait... I thought you were going to do that and I fucking hate you. That's probably disgusting. Not disgusting. You're wrong. It tastes like chocolate covered red fruits. Smoke your cigar now. You don't hate that, really good. I'm telling you, dude, I'm a pairing fucking master. It's crazy. It's crazy. Now, maybe, maybe not, not in old fashioned world. Maybe not in a cocktail world. I, I pulled up, dude, the Gatorade and George T. Stag mixture is one of the best we've ever dude, had. Dude, we did Gatorade and ECBP Fantastic. not that long ago. It's Fantastic. specifically the white Gatorade. Yes. So, anyways, um, don't put me in that, that space again. <laughs> We're done. Thank you for watching. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Check out luxurycigarclub.com. Be junky for uh, free shipping in your first month of subscription box. Look at that bag. Three twenty-five dollar gift card giveaways this month. Link Yay. in the description below. Fantastic value. We say it every month. This is a great place to go, especially if you're if you want to just try a bunch of different stuff. Which in cigars, it's the way to do it. In, it's the same with whiskey. In cigars and whiskey, what the reason people have collections, the reason people open multiple bottles, is because you want different experiences. Absolutely. That's what you're here for, right? There so, are it's a good place so to get so many. Like I said, so many labels I go in and see. Yep. And it's like, oh, I don't know. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spend twelve bucks on something I might hate. Yeah, this is a really good way to I save haven't, money. Haven't disliked cigars. Anything I've smoked out of these boxes. I though. agree with you. So, so needless but, to say, thank it gets you for in the brands you don't know. Right. You're gonna enjoy the shit out of right. it. I'm gonna repeat myself ninety two times because I don't know what's on camera right now. A lot. Unfortunately, most of it's out of focus. Some of it doesn't have audio. Uh, Anyways, we're the Bourbon Junkies. Take me Love on. you guys very much. Thank you for watching. Coast like, comment, road. subscribe. Check out LuxuryCigarClub.com. West Virginia. We're moving on. Dan Ray. We'll see you on Monday. <laughs>